Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. As you see, we're ready to start Heavensward. You ready for this? Maybe. Oh, come on. You know you can't be. I don't know if I'm ready to leave this fireplace. Okay, I, I can give that one. I <laughs> hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend. Uh, as you can see, we're slightly still setting up, but I wanted to show off the Heavensward pre-rendered trailer so you can get everyone in the hype. Mm hmm. Hi, pipe. Hi, pipe, hi, pipe. Hi, pipe. Hi, pipe. Yay, hi. Because hype is a good thing. So we seem to be coming to Ishgard. Yes. And we're going to no ignore Odin. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. he's used to it. <sighs> it's like he's also used to um, killing everybody in the zone. Actually, I need to check my audio. It is at 25%. That's no good. We went Ooh. on max. So people could hear the beautiful music soaking in uh, a mono, or not mono, but... Uh, Nabuo. Nabuo created, thank you. Hello, Tataru! No matter how long it takes, I have faith we will find the others. With Lady Yagiri's shinobi, Oyanji's intelligence, and my versatility, there's nothing we can't do! You got that right, Taru. Okay, Alfie. Yeah, that's, that's a nice word for it. What's the plan? Coming to Ishgard. The time for action has come and Alphino knows what he must do. Get a new voice actor. <laughs> Meanie. <laughs> what? The dawn's light will shine again. So Told you. we have these specious accusations hanging over us, we will struggle to achieve anything. You must go to Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. Lord Orshafon. Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortan. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city proper. Pray, consider our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. We got this. You are more than generous, my friend. On behalf of my fellows, I humbly accept your offer of hospitality. The Count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. To Ishgard, then. Together. There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There we shall begin anew. Hear, hear! Woohoo! 
Fish guy! I don't remember quests sounding like this before. Yes, we got new quest chime. They change it every expansion. Tataru? <laughs> they say the winds can be rather fierce on the Steps of Faith, so be sure to wrap up before you go. Yeah. Not at the, all the, the circumstances under which I had hoped to visit Ishgard for the first time. But so be it. What's your fun? I must go on ahead and speak with the Count. Fear not, however, for everything has been arranged. The sentries at the Gates of Judgment have been informed of our decision. They need but st you need but state your names, and they will allow you to pass. My manservant shall be waiting for you at the city gates, ready to escort you to our manor, where we shall meet again. Until then... Okay, Tataru, Alphano, you ready for this? Uh, okay, I don't think Alphano's ready. Say, no, no, not not in that getup. Oh, jeez. Exactly. Alphano, you're going to need some help. That's going to be bitter cold. Be footing at them. Getting into an area where I'm not popping Urza on top of all the other player characters. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oops. Yes. Thankfully, you don't smirk at me. We do need to get our portraits in order. Mm hmm. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Things from adventure page, which is pretty much the same because I never set up my adventure plates like a derp. I'm gonna have to fix that later. <laughs> Thank you. Thankfully, Urza is a hey, good doodles. bow. Yes, hello, doodles. Yeah, Urza is a good bow, and she autopiloted us here while I was fiddling with adventure plates and failing. Words of house for Tom. Ah, yes, you may pass. Well, Ishgard. that's a lot more welcoming than Ishgard has ever been before. Mm-hmm. And now, narration. So they came, at a friend's behest. Oh good, he did put on a jacket. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. With memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Curthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Halone, the Fury, ruled by Thordin VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. The last bastion of the faith her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was 
to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War they came, three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. From the memoirs of Count Edmond de Fauton, Heaven's Ward. Yes. A very important book. And there's in the a lore. logo. Yes. Hello, Akti. Welcome, welcome. Hello, yeah, Light They, they, they kind of have this thing. Um, they give you a title screen towards the beginning of every expansion, and they usually put the logo up for their title screen while looking at some sort of tower. Uh, they did not do that with the most recent um, expansion, which surprised me a bit. I, I don't know. I the think they did that with the was... moon, didn't they? Uh, I forget. They did something. It was not a tower. <laughs> well, which showing the Tower of me. Babel would have been like a total <laughs> spoiler. But everyone had figured on the moon already, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what they showed. I don't think it was the moon either. But yes, that was from Count Edmond de Fortam's uh, 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 memoirs, and it is voiced by Count Edmond de Fortam. Yes. Who is, unfortunately, the English voice actor is no longer with us. Yeah. He passed away last year. Or was it the year before? I think it was last I think, year. I think it was two years ago. I think it was a lot of people were very bummed because he was big not over not only for this but for a lot of the Doctor Who stuff he did for radio. Yeah. Tataru? God, I feel like a child in a giant city in a giant's castle. Well, yeah. yeah. From afar, the spires did not seem so tall. Mr. Manservant? Can I call you House? Greetings, Mr. Susfreth. On behalf of House for Tom, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. My lord humbly requests your presence at his residence in the Pillars. If you would all come with me. House for Tom and Service is now, uh, now accompanying you. No, wait. <laughs> This is poor they put in that system. I know. But you know they totally do it. And I believe there will be side quests taking you to every single Aetherite in the city. Usually. I like and how it's like the way everyone in the audience hmm? get prepared for a year plus of horribly, horribly mispronounced names. Because yes. we're all French. Because we're horrible at French. <laughs> so, um, apologies in advance. Yeah, in, in the course and life of the game, there's been three losses of voice actors. Uh, one Japanese, I forget what character he played, but that character's been kind of written out now. Mm. Um, the fellow who did uh, Edmund de Flatom, and the lady who did Yagiri. Oh! Oops. For English. Yeah. That one was the super sad one because she was murdered. Mm. She and her kid 
were murdered by her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. It was kind of ugly. Is it just me, or is the air up here different? You can almost smell the wealth and the power. Gods, it makes me want to faint. Ah, <sighs> that's her old on. To look upon the splendor of these heights, one would little suspect the ruin wrought by the Wyverns below. Yeah, live suing it, it it was messed up. Um, the good yeah. news is is that he has been apprehended, and I believe he is now serving time. Can't imagine. <laughs> the warriors of light and her brave uh, and their brave companions walking the streets of Ishgard at last. What a glorious sight! I cannot tell you how long I have waited for this day. Allow me to present to you to my family home, Fort Tom Manor. I should like nothing more than to show you around, but everyone is gathered to receive you. Come, my friends, introductions must be made. Then we shall make them! Kind of simple, that. In a Yes. My lord, I have returned with the Scions. I hope your journey was not too taxing. I, Count Edmond de Fortomp, do bid you welcome. As wards of House Fortomp, you shall be afforded every courtesy. My home is your home. My companions and I are deeply honored, Count Fortin. The honor is mine, Master Alfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgard. Forgive me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation, do not worry yourself on my account. Tis true that Ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort, hence the closing of our borders. Yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies, don't you think? Granted, my decision will have raised eyebrows in the vault and in the halls of the other high houses. But so long as you continue with your altruistic endeavors, I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their concerns. Then there is naught to fear. Though our numbers are much reduced, we are no less determined to carry on our work. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? You would do well, I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. Going us a year or two. Sorry. <laughs> Not your fault. We are slow levelers and slow game players, but that's because we enjoy and savor every moment, like fine wine. Not yes, chugging it like beer. <laughs> and there's the fact that we only do this an hour and a half a week. Yeah, well. Watch your phone. So, oh, what do you think? Be honest, it's great, isn't it? You keep telling yourself that. So, this is what inside the manor of a high house looks like. To think that Lord Hodgefont was raised here. Uh, Count, thank you for granting us. As I said before, my home is your home. After all you have done on our behalf, it is the least I can offer. Artwell. Greetings, Scion, and welcome. Your honor, we are honored by your presence. Amanolaine. They'll be whispering about you soon if they ha aren't already. The mysterious guests of House for Tom, or some such. 
How's Fortem Stewart? Greetings, Mistresses Frith. How may may I be of assistance? What do you do here? Me. Why, I am but a humble steward sworn to house for Tom. I doubt you wish to hear the minutiae of my duties. Simply put, at the behest of my lord the Count, I manage household affairs. I have served at his pleasure for more than fifty years, and by the Fury's grace, I shall serve for fifty more. Tell me about House for Tom. The origins of House for Tom can be traced back to King Thordon and his Knights Twelve. Ours was one of the four founding houses of Ishgard. Accordingly, our interests extend far beyond the walls of the city proper. Camp Dragonhead, for instance, is our responsibility. As for the family, you have of course met my Lord Count Edmondi Fortam, who is the head of our house. His two sons, my Lords Otoriel and Emanelaine, are next in line. May the Fury watch over and keep them from harm. As for these sworn to uh, those sworn to House for Tom, in addition to the knights, squires, and infantry, more than a hundred craftsmen, retainers, and other servants possessed of notable skill are pledged to our service. Given our strong position, one might expect us to have no truck with foreign merchants and soul swords. However, nothing could be further from the truth. I should think that my lord the Count was quite clear on this point, but it was our hope that you and your allies would, by your deeds, help us to convince the other high houses of the wisdom of opening the gates of judgment to all, among other things. More than anything else, though, I suspect he saw in you potential. Tell me about Ishgard. More than 1,000 years ago, Heloni appeared before King Thordon I and bade him lead his people to the Promised Land, to the lands we now call home. Really, and Theron might want to have a couple words with her about that. When what she's she not, pe when she's not using us as a pincushion. Yeah, well. And so the king and his knights twelve did as was commanded. They came to Corthus to found a great kingdom in the Fury's name. But the great Orm Nidhogg would that not have it so. With hatred in his heart, Nidhogg sought out King Thordon. In the ensuing battle, the king and half his knights were slain, but his son Haldrath rallied the others and drove back the fell beast. Thus did the war between our peoples begin, the war between dragon and man. One thousand years, Ishgard has stood against the Horde, and not once were our defenses breached, until the day Lady Iceheart's allies shattered our wards on the Steps of Faith. The wyverns were slain before they could breach our defenses here. Those in Foundation were not so fortunate. Unarmed men, women, and even children were made to feel the Dravanian's wrath. Walls can be rebuilt, but lives lost can never be reclaimed. My lord the Count knows this all too well. Thank you! I appreciate the story. What about the manservant over on the backside? Hello, manservant! He wants to challenge me to Triple Triad. I'd rather small talk. It is an honor to have you with us, Mr. Sisfrith. I see and if you aren't playing Triple Triad, he's not interested. Apparently. Okay, Alfie, what do you want to say? Taking in the sights, Alphano has a mind to learn more about Ishgard. Though our friends in the House for Tom have been generous enough to extend us their protection, we must take care not to impose too much on their hospitality. It is only proper that we learn about our new home so that we might become more self-sufficient. I'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Then there's the markets and the taverns. We'll need to know where to shop and where to hear small talk. It would seem a tour of the city is indeed in order. I thank you for your counsel, my lord. 
my companions and I shall of course do as you suggest. Very good. Then my manservant shall accompany you. He will be able to answer any questions you might have. And play Triple Triad. Ah, but I grow forgetful in my dotage. There is something I must give you ere we part. Their documentation is in order, I trust. Yes, my lord. He's handing out hole passes. Pretty much. Ishgardian hole passes. Rare. Those documents identify you as wards of House for Tom. Given that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are unaccustomed to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you remain under the protection of House for Tom. But let us hope it will not come to that. Rest assured that we shall do our utmost to avoid any situation which might compel us to invoke your name. Udunia, Trena, Tataru, the city awaits. Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we just ate it ourselves. Totally. <laughs> Tataru? I'm glad I have a map. I'm glad you have the map too, because I can't read them. I confess, it had long been a dream of mine to visit Ishgard. To my childish self, her towers, bridges, and cobbled streets seemed akin to something from a fairy tale. I've never quite outgrown the fantasy. So, despite the cold and the costume. Yeah. Let's start getting that up a little bit. Oh, actually, this is warmer than I was thinking it'd be. Mr. Manservant? As this is your first time in our fair city, pray permit me to show you the ho uh, Hoplon, from whence we may gaze upon the splendor of the Holy Vault. Though all other sights pale in comparison, it is only neat that you see it first. I shall then show you around the jeweled crazer, where, where you may purchase all manner of goods and services, before descending to Foundation's Aetherite Plaza. If there are no questions. Hmm, I see an ether shard that we're going to be walking by. I think we better touchy touchy. It's just this feeling I have, a tingling in the tip of my ears. Are you sure that's not the cold? It could very well be the cold, but uh, <laughs> you can never be too sure. aren't they? Hey, what if I took up sculpting? I bet I could make a fortune in a place like this. And we need every gill we can get. Um. If they've got this many statues, they probably have a sufficiency of sculptors already. The Holy Vault, where Archbishop Thurden the Seventh rules from on high. The Hoplon, so named for the bronze great shield worn by our nation, nation's patron deity, is the largest plaza in Ishgard. The magnificent cathedral to the north is, of course, the Holy Vault. 
The vault is both Ishgard's seat of government and the residence of the Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Begging your pardon, the statues to the south, are they perchance Thurden's famed Knights Twelve? Very good, Master Alphano. They are the fathers of Ishgard, the brave knights who joined with King Thordin I to put down Nidhogg and found this great nation. Ours is a city rich in history and tradition, and there is much you can learn by exploring the pillars, time permitting, of course. Now then, if you would follow me to the Jeweled Crather, I shall introduce you to Mistress Elassi. Our, ma our master of the markets. I don't think there's any pigeons here. It is way, way, way too cold. I mean, look at these snow flurries. <laughs> yeah. Unless they're like snow pigeons, which I guess is possible. <laughs> Morning doves? No doves. Touchy, touchy. Touchy, touchy. stone in sight. To watch these merchants going about their business, one would think the dragons had never attacked. If you want to buy something, let me do the talking. I could haggle for Ulda! I present to you, Mr. Celas. Mayhap you would like to say a few words. Hello, we'd like to say a few words. And those were them? Indeed. Well, you are clearly not locals or traveling peddlers, which makes you all... Important. Ah, Lords of House Photon. How very interesting. I thought we weren't supposed to name drop. Count Edmond has granted us leave to remain in Ishgard for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we will have need of sundry goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you're content to accept the custom of foreigners. Should you be uncomfortable... <laughs> Young sir, we do not discriminate in the manners of money. If you have coin to spend, who are we to refuse it? Weapons, armor, accoutrements, medicine, materials... Whatever you desire, you can be found in the glazer. Our merchants will be more than happy to accommodate you, as you shall soon see. The constant in the universe, the desire for profit. Mm -hmm. Our next destination is the Aetherite Plaza and Foundation, if everyone is ready. A warm welcome to you, Missies. Please feel free to visit our many, many shops. You are bound to find something to satisfy your every need. Thank you. Yes, there's jewelry shops and sundries vendors and armors. 
Mother asked us to fetch my And a weaponsmith. But mine too fast. Apothecary. There's a field supplier. And a cavalry. And a, another merchant mender. Mm hmm. You can never mend too many things. And a loiterer. Hello, Mr. Loiterer. Wonderful weather we're having lately, eh? It's snowing. It's all a matter of perception whether it's wonderful or not. Compared to blizzards? What? They have no gunpla? How could that be? Ah. Sorry, I... Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, that place it seriously needs a daiso. Oh, look, an Aetherite shirt. I've got a feeling we should touchy-touchy it. Touchy-touchy. Ark of the Humble. <laughs> there is nothing humble about this city. Do you ever get the feel, uh, funny tingling feeling when you attune to an Aetherite? Or is it just me? No, well, so it is just me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have already attuned myself to the Aetherite. I trust you have as well. Uh, I think that's a hint to go touchy touchy. Yeah, before we get sucked into Sinny. Which will probably immediately tell us to go touchy touchy the Aetherite. I'm Ain't mooting right, here, Mr. it does seem to last a, a bit. And here we have Foundation's Aetherite Plaza. If you have yet to attune to the Aetherite, it would be wise to do so now. Ooh, um, um. Item level 115. Hold on. Yeah, we need let's to do see. a it's class bending, check. Maiming. Striking. So I'm checking uh, Tank and Dragoon. Tank is a slight improve. Ninja is a huge improve. <laughs> Striking's a huge improve. Both of mine are 120s. So actually, no. Yeah, I'm going for striking. And I'm going for my bottle cap collection. And let me get that equipped. Mm -hmm. Yay, equipped. All and saved off. Back to Red Mage. The better half. No, those hats have nothing to do with the better half. I'm sorry. Hats. Like they'll even show. Also true. Maybe that is the better half. <laughs> Healing and casting. And of course saving, but who cares? Mm -hmm. Your guide is eager to continue your tour of Ishgard. Next destination. Mayhap we should decide together. What else can be found nearby? The Sky Steel Manufactory stands to the west. There, our engineers conceive and manufacture weapons for use against the dragons. The Holy Stables, where chocobos are trained for war, also lie in that direction. Do we end up visiting the latter at all, considering that was mostly for the Black Chocobo, which was flying and... We no, uh, you actually initially visited it 
for a quest they have since removed in the game, which allowed your personal chocobo to fly. That's what I'm talking about, because if I remember right, you get the black chocobo, and then you get your main chocobo to fly. Yeah. And both of those were down in that stable. Uh, no, the black chocobo is part of MSQ. I don't want to say more than that, because it'd be a spoiler. It's still in MSQ, then? Yes. That's kind of my question. Yes, it is. To the north and east can be found the congregation of our knights most heavenly, while to the south and east, well, it would be best if you avoided the area. And why is that? Uh, I fear our knights may not be able to ensure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Alphano. That would be you. And he's very drunk. Okay, so it's not, um, what's her name? No. Hmm. Hold your nose when you pass the broom, little lord. A delicate flower like you is like to wilt in our fumes. You misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord, but a humble traveler. Oh, come to see the sights, have you? Take a turn down the hoplon and gob at the statues? Eh. Well, if you've a mind to learn how the better half live, come and have a drink at the Forgotten Night, if your nursemaid will let you. Rude. My humblest apologies, Master Alphano. Pay, pray pay that drunken love no mind. Oh, but I must. It would not do to refuse such a heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this forgotten night for myself. I trust you just, you see the wisdom in this, Ludonia, Rena. There are few sources of information more abundant than a bustling local hostelry. Not that I expect to hear any news of our missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, who can say what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too! Manservant's like, uh, uh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Purists. Touchy touchy. Mm. Touchy touchy. Oh, look, a blue quest. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come back here. Oh, it's up, up here. Yeah. Expecting everything to be down below. Yeah, of course. Let the clan hunt begin. Etienne is looking you up and down and grinning. Oh, well, well. What have we here? You look like you've seen a scrap or two. My name's Etienne, and I'm a proud member of Clan Centurio, the toughest band of warriors this side of the steppes. Band of warriors the other side of the steps? Maybe. You'll have heard of the hunt, right? Grand companies run on it in the rest of the Eorzea, but up here is the clan's concern. We follow the same system, but we're free to pick our own marks. Reckon you've got the speed, the strength, and the heart to take down some of the most ferocious fiends this side of the seventh hell? If you think you're up to the challenge, head downstairs and have a word with Ordling. He'll fill you in on the Tales. Okie dokie. Hello, Monsieur Ardolaine. What is this about hunting? 
Good evening to you, young ladies. How can I be of service? Oh, so you fancy trying your hand at the hunt, do you? Well, if Atien reckons you're up to it, it isn't for an old man like me to say elsewise. Me and him are members of Clan Centario, a ragtag band of glory hunters, mercenaries, and has-beens brought together by Sir, Sir Laudast, one of the Ishgard's most noble of nobles. Whenever a monster grows too big for its boots, we're the ones who risk our necks to take it down. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. As long as you can wield a weapon and you don't fear death, you'll always be welcome in the clan. Take me, for instance. I was born a thousand moms from here, but now I'm the one showing the new recruits the ropes. So, how about it, young ladies? Will you be joining us in the hunt? The fame and glory is not enough for you. Perhaps the rich rewards on offer might change your mind. I'll take the rewards, but uh, hunt trains are right out. <laughs> then, welcome to the clan, or what was your names again? Ladonia? Rena, is it? All right, then. I'll put your names in the book. Now, I suppose you'll be wanting to take a look at some of our marks. Head up those stairs and out the door. The clan hunt board is on the wall outside, round the left. You'd better stick to the level one marks for the nonce. No point running before you can walk. Yeah, hunt trains are a thing. Choo-choo! And while they can be extremely fun, I find them very unfun in the fact that my processor just can't deal with them. Fair enough. There are so many covered in players on the board, the bosses die before they ever spawn in. Yeah. Clint Hunboard is covered in bills showing the details of wanted monsters. Follow Ardelaine's advice and pick any level one clan marked bill that takes your fancy. Or just the one that they give me by random lot. Yes. And I don't get a choice. As a new member of Clan Centario, you are permitted to take bills for level one clan marks from the clan hunt board. Defeat the monsters described on the bills and you will be rewarded with Centario seals, which can be exchanged for exclusive items. You exclusive. How fancy. And yeah, the rest of them. Okay. They want me to kill a bunch of monsters I've never heard of or seen. Eh. At least we don't have to fake grind for special ones like we did in uh, AAR. <laughs> Hold up. Alfie? Mm-hmm. Hey, have one drink would be... No, no, I mustn't. The tyrant? Hmm. <laughs> yes, I've got a good feeling about this play. Oh, she had a good feeling. Once more, I must urge you to reconsider. There are several gentlemen who appear less than pleased by our presence. Hello, our Mr. Proprietor. Or your presence. Must say, this is rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my tavern. We but recently arrived in Ishgard, and are eager to acquaint ourselves with her more notable establishments, Mr. Master. Yeah, I know. Jivron. Just Jivron will do. And I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. Can't promise it'll live up to your expectations, but if it's decent food and drink you're after, you could do much worse. Judging by the number of customers I see, I suspect your fare is rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I did not help but note a difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. When did he visit the lower floor? Spotted that, did you? I up here you'll find peddlers, porters, off-duty knights, and so forth, dropping in on their way to or from somewhere else. Regulars, maybe, but not locals. Folks from the broom, they tend to congregate downstairs, where we offer a menu more suited to their tastes. Cheaper meals, stronger spirits, all quality, mind. But not the sort of stuff I'd recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes? Why do they call them the broom, if I may ask? 
Uh, that when the weather's foul and the broom rolls in thick, it's the poorer sods living at the bottom who have to deal with it. I see. And it's not just the weather. When the wyverns broke through the wards and started tearing up the city, it was the broom that got the worst of it, while the pillars enjoyed the protection of the high houses and the temple knights. More than a few people are still sore about that mind, which is why, considering your present company, I'd recommend you keep your wits about you if you mean to go below. And something sharp in your boot just to be sure. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alfano, I think it would be best if we return to Fortom Manor. Go on ahead without me. I'm staying for a drink or two. But, Mr. Taro, I am afraid that is out of the question. My lord the Count would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his churches in such a place. Least of all, a maiden. What are you up to, Tataru? To look around, Alphano. This tavern is full of people whose business regularly takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the news gossip to come to me. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? Oh, please. Do you know how often I looked after the waking sands or the rising stones by myself? If I had a gill for every unwelcome welcomed caller I've driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. Not that I doubt the lady's knack for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone lay an unwelcome hand on a patron in my establishment. That settles it then. Totoro, Ladonia, Rena, and I shall return to the manor for now. Contact me, my A-Link Pearl, if you require assistance. I will! She's so happy. Yes. Yes. Don't you worry, sure about Rena. this, Tataru? Don't worry, Rena, Ladonia. If there's any news of our friends, I'll find it. Actually, hold on a moment. Let's at least look down the stairs and show everyone what the fuss is all about. Yeah, this is the downstairs. Yeah. Not many here. Cook stove here, and a bar, and a you very need to go home. a very sad drunkard who had a yeah. speech bubble. They're all dead, and it's all my fault. Yeah. Can I help you, miss? Bowl of beets? Small beer, perhaps? Ah, him? Lost his little girl to the pox. Best leave him be. Now, you will notice there is a distinct lack of something here. And it's not because this is for the poor people. Because if you come back up here and look around, you'll note a distinct lack of chairs. This is not a place you sit down at. Grump. Yeah, they really try to get people in and out fast. Either that or standing keeps you warmer. Maybe. Or just cramps your legs faster. That too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, Tataru is... Well, Tataru is Tataru. Well, do remember, she was orphaned. She has been on the streets of Ulda. Nope. Oh, nope, nope, nope. This way. Yes. I was going the right way, and then I outthought myself. Yes. Ah, 
went back to House Fatal. Yes, I want to go inside the manor. Please, it's warmer in there. Count Edmond, your city is cold. No wonder everyone's bundled up in furs. <laughs> yeah. We have a new person here. Oops, I clicked through. Oops. Oh, Victoria. How do you find our fair, uh, find our city? Beautiful, is it not? And Madeleine? Is that? Uh, it is the smell of mead. Newly come and already sampling the delights of our taverns. Oh yes, I like you. I like you a lot. Honoroi! Ah, pray do not concern yourself with me, madam. No, 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 you are well worth concerning ourselves with. I'm bouncing a bubble above Honoroi's head. <laughs> mm, yes. Very good. <laughs> Tell us then, Master Alphano, does Ishgard meet with your expectations? That which I imagined pales in comparison to the reality. I felt the weight of a thousand years of history with every step I took. And when those steps took me past scars left by the wyverns in Foundation, I understand how easily that history could end in tragedy. The attack was devastating, the casualties unspeakable. The wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men and women, even children, were given no quarter. Sir Emmerich has ordered his knights to strengthen our defenses, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. There is much to be done, but alas, able-bodied men and women are in short supply. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord. After all you have, uh, after all you have done for us, we would welcome any opportunity to repay your kindness. Stoic nod. That is a most generous offer, Master Alfano. Your guests in my home, to whom I have extended my hospitality without obligation, let or lean. Nevertheless, Ishgard's need is great, and if you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. Good. What would you ask of us? From what I have heard, you are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such qualities may prove most useful to us in our efforts to secure provisions from foreign sources identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. As for you, Mistresses Frith, I could ask for no one better than a storied veteran such as yourselves, women with the capacity to act swiftly and decisively when needed, and to aid Artoriel and Amanalane in their duties. I beg your pardon. I am more than capable of carrying out my duty myself. I have no need of our honored guest's assistance. Now, now, be reasonable, brother. What manner of fool would say no when a famous hero offered to do his work? That work. Hold your tongues. By the fury, the two of you will conduct yourselves with dignity befitting your station, and show Mistresses Frith the respect they deserve. These are the women who slew Gaius von Bailsar and some half-dozen primals besides. They are not here to steal your glory or serve as your errand girls. If you can pardon their impropriety, Hey, mistresses, I should be much obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand. I think something can be arranged. My thanks. Fury willing, they may even learn something from you. Oh, those expressions.
checking with Serpent, seeing if he says anything different, which I don't think he will. Shouldn't. No, 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 no. Him and the man servant, I don't think ever really change. They do occasionally. Occasionally. Manalane? I look forward to working with you, Ladonia, Rena. It's going to be grand. Honoroy? Please look after our Lord of Madeleine, Mistress Frith. Oh dear, I think that was a plea for help. Yes, yes it was. Artoral? Where is he? All the way ah, there. There he is. Forgive me, Mistress Frith. I was unprepared for my father's decision. Yeah, that much was sure. Okay, Alfie, what's the plan? It would seem we shall not want for employment over the coming days, though that was never in doubt. Our host's initial reluctance to accept our offer of aid was solely for appearance's sake. In truth, he's glad of this opportunity to put us to work. By granting us patronage, House Fortom has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth to Ishgard at large, the Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. And so he would have us publicly serve Ishgard, while simultaneously keeping his sons in check. Tis an arrangement we may benefit from in unexpected ways. My own duties may feasibly bring me into contact with people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our two lords in their various responsibilities, you will inevitably make new acquaintances in Ishgard, mayhap even new allies. Yes, the more I think on it, the more confident I am that by furthering their goals, we shall further our own. And yeah, I, 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 I need to check up on that. That's definitely an upgrade, but is the other and by how much on each one? Sorry, Alpha No. Ah, the joy of figuring out your sets. One ten. Okay, black mage it is. Hold on. Uh, white mage. Of course, I don't have any archer parts, so it's going to have to be white mage. If anything. Oh, it's a big upgrade to white mage. What is white mage at? Uh, headwise? Yeah. Uh, 90? Ooh, yeah. Okay, I was at 100. And we'll need to get that socketed someday. So, now we have a quest. Eventually, we'll do both, but who do we want to do first? A man uh, or Ortia? You, when I asked you that a few weeks ago, you had an answer on which way it would be, be best plot wise, and I've forgotten the answer. I, I say we let the, our audience decide. Who should we go for? A Madeleine or R12? The, the, um,. Offended uh, minor noble, or the one who wants to carouse and has a keeper and needs it. Oh, well, we've got one vote for a Madeleine. Okay. Do we have any other votes? Chirp, 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 <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> Doodle says he can't decide. <laughs> of course, there's this 30 second delay between when we say something and when you guys respond. <laughs> but so far, we're kind of leaning toward an Avanalane. Hmph! <laughs> 
And we have another indecisive. indecisive. The indecisives have it. Yeah, this is. Um, they start doing a thing, and they uh, keep this up for pretty much every expansion. Is the first zones you hit are actually split zones, so that they can have some of the big onslaught rush of people go to one zone and the big onslaught of rush of people go to another zone and hopefully not take down the servers because they're all in the same zone. Like. Yeah, it's actually a rather clever idea and they do it every expansion. Um, very, eh, very good thinking on somebody's part. But, bless their hearts. The rushes have been so big as of, for the last couple expansions that they've had to input uh, zone instancing for the starting zones anyway. Yeah. I think we're doing a Manalane. Sounds like it. Okay, Manalane. Uh, first, checking with Conroy. Yes. Still the same, I think. No. Oh? Ah, Mistress is Trith. Lord Amandalay would like to speak with you. Yes. Okay. Onwards and upwards. When a man like Lord Amandalay is in high spirits, you can be sure that trouble is in store. Yes. Shall we be off then, old girls? Ah, uh, but where are my manners? Amandalay de Fortan, second son of Count Edmond de Fortan. Trueborn, that is... Yes, yes, I know what you're thinking, and you're absolutely right. What ill fortune to be born second in a society when the eldest inherits all. Oh, my brother would never cut me off, tis true. But who would be satisfied subsisting on a meager allowance forever overshadowed by a sibling? Not I, old girls, not I. Which is why I need your help to ensure that this business in the Sea of cloud, the Clouds goes swimmingly so that the tales of my great deeds can win me a place in the people's hearts. Or better yet, raise me higher in their estimations than Artoriel. Ambitious, I grant you, but then I do have a legendary hero to do my bidding. <laughs> Don't look at me that way, I jest. Anyway, we are in to aid the good men and women of House Hal and Art. They have, been, uh, they have ever been steadfast friends to our house, though they've fallen on hard times since the calamity, poor blighters. As for what precisely we will be doing, well, what fun would it be if I told you everything in advance? Just come along with me to the airship landing. We'll need to take the airship to Camp Cloudtop. The white well, zone is for looting and unlooting only. The red zone is for fighters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Amanalane's kind of a piece of work. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, he... Good old fat. Um... Oh, that's right. But he's a good old fashioned upper class twin. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> He doesn't mean anything by it, he's just a twit. Tersefer seeks assistance with a rather delicate issue. Dinner for four. Excuse me, adventurers. I would ask a favor of you on behalf of House Fortom. My lord is hosting a banquet and requests attendance from the other high houses. Take these invitations and see they are delivered at once. Of course, you will likely not be granted an audience with the lords and ladies of the high houses. Leaving these with the guards will do, but they must be delivered. And the first one's right over here. Yeah. Now realize what they kind of implied there. Lord mm -hmm. Furtom has three sons. Yes. Technically... Fortuno is the oldest. Uh, is he the oldest or just in between? I believe he is actually the oldest. And, and you mean Harchafon. Yeah. And yeah, he isn't considered a true born son. No, he, he, he is a he was born out of Whitlock. 
What business have you with House Helen Art? Formal invitation. A sealed envelope containing an official invitation to a banquet hosted by Houseford Hall. Invitation to dine with Houseford Hall. Your lord would be honored to attend. But I'm afraid he's quite busy at present, what with a breach of Ishgard's defenses and rising heretic activity. Can't rightly say he's too busy, though. That's for him to decide. You have me, eh, you have me word, this invitation will be delivered. Thank you, yeah, that's sir. all we ask. The other two this way. Uh, one is the so. other. Oh, yes. Or, sorry. One is and the other two are downstairs. Yeah, we could be a couple of weeks just getting out of the city for all the side quests. Yes, yes, there are a lot of them. But this one purposely points you at all a lot of the sub aetherites. Yeah. Like, like this, this one, one over here. Touchy touchy. Athenaeum Astrologicum. Hello, good sir. This is the residence of House Samo. If you have no business here, then I must ask you to leave. But uh, we do have business here. Here, take this. A banquet hosted by House for Tons? I see. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's nothing. It's just, my lord has been tied up with the res restoration of Falcon's Nest. I imagine making time to attend will be difficult. Nevertheless, I will see to it that he receives the invitation. Thank you, that's all we ask. And Falcon's Nest is someplace we will end up eventually. Should have gone with the other son to see it more, er, more quickly. That's okay. Cloud Top yep. is fine. Yes, yes it is. touch on the subject later. I'll just leave it that uh, that bit of information for you to mull on. Um, oh, was it upstairs? Should be, I would think. I was having trouble getting it on on the map. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it should be upstairs. Oopsies. Uh, okay, there it is. Oh, well, there's also I see a blue bang. Uh, the blue bangs here are to open classes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah level fifty. What's right. your sign? And level fifty, a dark spectacle. That that's Dark Knight and Astrologian. However, there is a uh, non-blue bang on the map. Yeah, well, we'll be hitting that bef two blue banks. True. Or non blue banks. Yeah. So we'll be going by those soon. And yeah, we're headed towards one of them. Mostly. Three sons, and none of them are bad, actually, but... They're definitely yeah. characters. Also true. Um, Harshafon is kind of the best of the lot, though. I don't know, I actually kind of like Artoriel, too. Just yeah, in different he's ways. good. Uh, they're all good. But, yeah, Harshafon's kind of the best of the lot. 
A lot and of certainly people... at this point the most successful of the lot in many ways, since he yeah. has his own no stick. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people who would like to drop kick a Madeleine. I'm not one of them. He has his problems, but like I said, he's a well-meaning upper-class twin. What business brings you to House Darren Dare? Speak up. Uh, invitation to a this banquet? Business. Dinner with House for Tom. Huh. Whose favor do they aim to gain this time? Not that it concerns you, but House Darren Dare and Fortom don't exactly see eye to eye. Little wonder they would ask you to, li to deliver this missive. Uh, for be it for me to exaggerate it matters, the invitation will be delivered. What my lord does with it is not my concern. No, is it mine? I'm just being the delivery bunny. Do we want to head down and grab that other one? That's what I'm checking. Landing a stable job. Uh -oh. Yes. Hello, good sir. You seem to have a quest for us. Landing a stable job. Mathieu is looking for an adventurer who is not afraid of a little hard work. They actually handing us one of those? Yes, because I think this is the quest to unlock shoving onions down chocobo's throats. <laughs> you know what those things are worth? Yes. <laughs> What's this? Looking for a bit of work, are we? You don't look to be one stra strapped for a coin, but I never turn away anyone looking to make an honest kill. Would you mind taking a sack of chocobo fodder down to the Holy Stables and Foundation? The Stable Master Sevilla is expecting a delivery. She paid me up front, but fear not, that was merely for the fodder. There is still a delivery charge, and you are welcome to it if you take the fodder down there for me. Chocobo fodder. Yeah, um, actually, how are our bows doing? Nowhere near 10. Uh, mine's rank 9! Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, they are in 9. Actually, no, we can go this way. So the onion will come at good times. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I had points to spin, because mine leveled. Hmm. thought I spent mine. Go no, peeps. no, no, I missed that. Yikes. Maybe even two of them. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Missed you leveling. I've been a bad master for Marshmallow. This is a steep ramp. Mm-hmm. And here's the stable. The Holy Stable. Welcome to the Holy Stables. What can I do for you? Delivery. Chocobo fodder. A mixture of dropped fresh, chopped fresh greens and hay for delivery to the Holy Stables. Oh, in our back the fodder! Splendid! The chocobos are in for a treat! We specialize in brain eating and training of cavalry chocobos, so they must have nothing but the very best. They put through an admittedly harsh training regimen, and only a chocobo with the finest stock can endure it. That's why my assistant and I... Uh, wait a second. Where is my assistant? Uh... No doubt he's run off to the Light Feather Proving Grounds again. Would you be a dear and go get him for me? And tell him to expect Chocobo fodder for lunch if he doesn't hurry. Ooh. Yep. 
someone's in trouble. And it's not us. <laughs> I like this. I like that being in trouble. For once. Mm -hmm. Do we care about unlocking the temple leaf mitt? Sure. So what's the red one? I think that's if you actually have a profession. Scrutable tastes. Yeah, hand or lamp. Beg your pardon, but are, are, are you Mistress Frith, I presume? That we are! Just the woman I was hoping to see. It so happens I have a proposition for you. You see, in accordance with the Lord Commander's orders, we have established a new system similar to the one administered by the Adventurers Guilds of Eorzea. We are to document the petitions of the people and distribute them to motivated individuals like yourself. Were you to assist us with these leaves, madam, we would be most grateful, and we would compensate you accordingly. Temple leaves now available. And that's it. The leaf system, for the most part, has kind of disappeared after Heaven's Word. Yes, yes um, it has. It does still exist, but it's pretty much exclusively for gathering and crafting now. Okay. Instead of, the uh, other one is for the collectibles. Right. Do we want to deliver our bad news or talk to the Fury Fearing Elysian? Uh, what do you think? I think we should deliver to Lightfeather first. Okay. And then we'll come back. Think he'll still be fe fearing the Fury when we get back? It looks awfully cold. Oops, sorry, wrong one. I was wondering. One door over. Looking for who? Oh, the stable man. He went inside not too long ago. Mr. Stapleman. Hello there. Come for a few matches as well, I take it? Uh, have you ever seen anything so exhilarating? There's nothing in this world more majestic than the Chocobo. Spirited and resilient, with plumage kissed by the golden sun, they are my passion, and I long to someday breed the perfect Chocobo. Fortunately, I work at the Holy Stables, or I'd never have the opportunity. Well, if you don't get back there, you may not work there much longer. Sevilla is looking for me? Pucker me with a hay fork. The fodder must have arrived. The matches will have to wait. Thanks for the tip, friends. Yeah, the fodder's arrived. We delivered it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So, interesting little arena here. Yeah. That only this... gets used for a leather working quest. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I remember it gets used again, but yeah, it does not get used for much. I've got a funny feeling they had something in mind for it and then had to pull it at the last minute. Yeah, like one-on-one -on -one PvP matches or something. With chocobos. Yeah, maybe. Um, it is nearing 11. Well, why don't we turn this in and then we'll go get a drink at the Forgotten Night. That sounds good. And then next week we'll finish up uh, doing side quests here and then head to Clamp Camp Cloud Top. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful. Why do I even bother? It will only be demolished again in the next raid. Yeah, well. Can't have everything. Hey, at least he isn't this, this guardian over here. The one hanging. Give me a second. Yeah. Don't look down. That one. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's having a very, very bad day. Uh, actually, several years by this point. Yes, yes. I'm amazed his arms hasn't haven't ripped off at this point. <laughs> He practically tripped over himself running in here not long ago. Thank you for finding him. Uh, he'll have to buckle down if he's serious about becoming a realm-renowned fear eater. Though he's off to a good start having come here. This guard is famous for raising chocobos, you know. They've always been the steed of choice on the battlefield. The proving grounds where you found my starry-eyed assistant ensure that they get plenty of practice. That is... Well, I'll say it's practice, but it also makes a good show for folks spectating as well. You should find yourself sometime. Uh, you should see for yourself sometime. Nothing like feathers flying from two chocobos flustering, almost dancing back and forth in the arena. You'll quickly come to understand why they call it Light Feather Proving Grounds. As long as this stable stands, you can be sure that our chocobos will be there. I'll confess the weather has been a bit more unkind to our chocobo chicks, but we have a tradition and a reputation to uphold. And they give us a Thavnarian onion. Mm -hmm. A pungent, tear-inducing vegetable that thrives in the alkali sands of the Near East Thavnar. It's a favorite among chocobos. Um... With the way the system works, once our chocobos reach level 10, in order for them to break into level 11, you have to effectively max level them, and then shove an onion down their throat, and then go kill something, and then they can break their barrier, and you have to do this for the next 10 levels. Yeah, each level the, another onion. And the it's level not really curve. shoving it down their throat. I mean, you've seen them feed. Well, yeah. More okay. like try to keep them from taking your arm off. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the curve for the chocobo training gets steeper and steeper as it goes along. Yeah. But of course, the general idea is, you know, they've got the three paths and each path gets more expensive as it goes along, but you get more points as it goes along. So basically, from the original maximum of 10, you can get them all the way down any one path. Oh, Tataro, you've got a little apron on. I know, I think waiting on tables rather suits me. I get to meet all sorts of interesting people and top it off, they pay me to do it. Now, now, don't get any wrong ideas. This is purely for our benefit. I'm learning all about each card, and the proceeds are going straight into the science coffers. Which happens to be your coffer, but hey. Yeah. So I'm gonna so, mosey up to a drink here. So, you know, as you go past 10, once they get you to start breaking the limit, they continue getting points faster, and basically they max out at 20. And at that point, they can have everything in all three trees. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it takes a while to get them leveled. Yeah. It is not uncommon to hit max end of story for Endwalker and still not have your Jokobo fully leveled. Oh, dear. It takes safer. Fate's help. Leveling Blue Mage helps, too, amazingly <gasps> enough. Because Blue Mage, they earn their XP in a very weird way. And if you know what you're doing, can basically just spam a co chocobo to max almost instantly. But yeah. With that said, it is that time. We've definitely gotten off to a good start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So next week we will head off to finish up the side quest around Ishgard and then head off to Cla Camp Cloudtop. And there's a lot of those. And Cloudtop is a very interesting place. 
Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. A uh, classic Japanese trope. Yes. With that said, we will see you all next week. Uh, we will be returning to Palace of the Dead on Saturday just to see if we can get through another punch up. Uh, I did some research. There is no mount attached to the glamour, so we can effectively spin the glass uh, on glamours or someone get the housing item that I can throw in the house. But we'll right. figure it out. Mm -hmm. In any case, you all have a great evening. Good night. Be safe. Be well. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you starting at 9.30 Pacific on Saturday. Yes. Everyone have a great night. Night all. <laughs> <laughs>